Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jessie. Mm. <laughs> Where guys, this journey is long ago. It's like you know, well, right now I feel like an elephant. <laughs> I'm a big elephant. So it is now 32 weeks. I know I've been silent. I know. I don't know what is happening. Um, yeah, and I thought I should come like educate some some young young people out there who like they're planning to get pregnant or they are thinking they are they are in a relationship and still young and you think you are ready. Hey guys, I'm just going to tell you the challenges right now that I face. Uh, during this pregnancy and it is big baby let me stand let me stand for you i have like those those nigerian mothers pregnancy <laughs> oh yeah okay let, let me do this oh, first of all if you have not followed me on tiktok go to my tiktok at jesse's town we are killing out the young okay let me just like go to this point guys most challenge i face during pregnancy right now the first one and i know you will say it is not necessary that money is not everything let me tell you money is everything in this world hey guys it is financial stability if you are not financially stable please do not get pregnant because pregnancy comes with many challenges first of all you wake up you are craving for something and you have nothing okay that is a stupid one okay like last week i had a boil you know like a boil down there in, you know, in my libido you know so and i had to go to the hospital so that it can be cleaned and i'm and i'm sensitive right now because um i'm i'm pregnant and you, they had to remove it surgically you know like it was that is when i realized you need money so that you you carry your baby well or you become pregnant <laughs> i am so that is my sister she's just watching me talk and talk uh so yeah and i think i hope so she's listening right now because she's still here <laughs> yeah so me i'll just say be financially stable i love you girls do not say that i have a man i have a man and he will take care of me because i am pregnant some of us got pregnant and we are still alone here you know like we are pregnant and i'm the father and i'm the mother i don't have a baby daddy that is what i'm telling you guys so if you're out there saying oh i only get pregnant if i fell, found a good man I had a good man then i told him then what happened you see like be financially be, fi, be financially stable kabisa so the the second the second the second uh, most challenge that i face right now is the fear of giving birth you know i like right now i feel as if I, this baby is too big to pass into my you know you know like to download it so i have this fear like what will happen next? I, I fear staring at my baby. I know there's that maternal love that you get. But if you have been if you have been kind of depressed or you're not expecting or you don't know anything, you know, like there's that fear, the fear of what will happen. Like, you know, some people give birth and they die, some people give birth they okay. As in me I have that fear of what will happen on that day? Me, I'm afraid of that due date. Will I be able to carry that child? Will I be able to, you know, take care of that small, 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 small feet? Uh, yeah, that is actually my feet. That is, that is a challenge in pregnancy. People don't talk about this. Guys, and this, this, number three, me, I'll just say about the, the prenatal depression that no one is talking about. There's this time I was just waking up and... I could eat and then I go back to sleep. I eat, I go back to sleep. Then I become so emotional. I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to see anyone. I don't want to do anything. I don't know. I, I, I was just like, you know, like you just you existing, but you're not existing. Like that is a challenge. I think so prenatal depression is something that you should be warned about. <laughs> it is real. It exists. Hey, hey, hey. Guys, and if prenatal depression hits you and you do not take care of yourself and you don't know what you're doing, 
this is it will fuck up your life let me tell you i don't know i i don't know how it will fuck up your life but somehow it will so what i try to do is i try to just be active you know like waking up and like seeing the seeing my roommate and i'm like ah, she's here she, you, ah, or seeing anyone around you know like distracting myself that is what 90 percent of the time i did okay i'm i'm saying this is this 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 not everyone will will pass through this challenge but it is among like the biggest challenges during pregnancy and if you think i'm lying get pregnant or if you're pregnant tell me about it but not everyone passes through this i uh, so number four about pregnancy our biggest biggest challenge in pregnancy right now hey hi 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 me don't know what you are saying but me my biggest challenge right now if i walk around you know the way i am short guys i'm so short i'm so short then i walk around people keep staring at my stomach i cover myself not like this oh girl this is today is hot there's a lot of sun so i have to wear something light i can't i don't like their i don't like nini so this is so fitting so that is why i'm here so biggest challenge is people staring at your baby bump people do not talk about this but this is so real so like yesterday i was i was just around the matatu and like there's this makanga uh, the bus conductors who are like like whoa nani alikudunga hiyo like who got you pregnant at he has a lot of you know like i was like god everywhere you go everyone stares at your baby bump it is it is easy to carry a pregnancy but it is not easy if everyone is staring at you in the road in the supermarket in the nini okay and they try like okay there's this aspect they care like if you if, if they see your tie they give you a chair if you, but they give you a chair with the entitlement you know like let me help you it's, it's as if they want the world to know that they are helping you <laughs> what am i saying but that is a big challenge too that is a big challenge hey stairs in the road hey another one number five it's number five or number four me i'm just telling you guys number four hey, hey. what me i'll just say like braxton hikes it's like labor pains you wake up and you stretch you feel like Shwe. something is like as if your muscle has 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 done what has separated or, or the baby has hey what i don't know what to say about it but it is like a sharp pain here or somewhere hey, just where you stretch the braxton next is i hear it's like they're teaching you about it's like preparing you for contraction uh, for the labor pains but guys it is not that 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 good for me my experience is like hey god do you want to take my muscles away do you want me not to wake up so that is how i feel 90 percent of the time okay hmm I wanted to tell you about what okay the braxton hikes it's like labor pains it is teaching you for labor pains first of all if you are around 37 weeks uh, uh until the year so i'll go another thing is i'll go with morning sickness like uh you'll get morning sickness first trimester and third trimester so my morning sickness today was not even that bad but they took brush cost it like i brushed my teeth then i vomited everything i ate the way i am so hungry hey okay the other hey, hey frequent urination guys you will go to the to the toilet or the what so what what do you call it in a good way you will do that like 90 percent of your time one two three now me i know how to hold this but where and now i have uta because of holding it so i'm teaching you here i'm taking antibiotics so so hey, frequent urination that will go in handy 90% of the time. I love there's that like feeling of not being prepared, you know, like the baby is near, you're not ready, you don't have things. I love the worst thing is you don't have things, then there is another mother who has bought everything, you know, like the social media will, will fuck your mind up about like uh they buy like you know new things everything is new the crib they need it, right you you don't even have a crib you are going to share bed three of you or five of you with your sisters and and your roommates and everyone who will join you at that time you know like there's that fear fear of nini I, that is what i'm saying guys be financially stable i don't know why i'm going back there but there's there's that one okay and there's heartburn hey guys 
be ready me i don't know if you people if, if you'll suffer from heartburn but right now my heartburn is top notch even if i'm not reacting to it i am burning so i have taken actol i have taken uh, carrots you can take carrots they say you can take carrots and i forget to buy carrots every time i should buy more carrots now that i remember and hey it is not easy so there's heart burn oh girl so me i say that is the biggest challenge right now i feel i face like during pregnancy personally like and you know like oh oh wait and there's this aspect of people asking you are you married are you why 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 do you do that why why do people ask this so <laughs> so so hey yeah, so let's yeah i think so that is what is the biggest challenge that i have i have come to experience and i and i think so it depends with age where you are how you are so you know like if you're young and you're still with your parents it's another problem if you're young and you're living at your own place it's another problem if if you are older and you're married it's another problem so this is just like take it as a bracket i'm living al alone and and this is my challenges it's actually it's a, okay i will not say don't get pregnant it's a blessing i think so to get pregnant but be ready <laughs> even i'm not ready why am i telling you oh okay me i'm just i'm telling you because it's my talent okay i think so be ready to raise that child because <laughs> i don't know if i'm ready to raise that child but i always say myself it's arriving it's arriving me i'll flow with it i'll raise it like a doll dolly or a puppy i don't know so that is what i'm here for today so thank you for watching and i'm talking talking is if it's like it's like you're using another energy again <laughs> i saw but see me i'll just say goodbye for now see you next time cheers maybe i'll go into labor tomorrow today or tomorrow after but we don't know bye bye